Okay, let's go ahead and get ready. I need to re-equip my magic seed here. Like I said earlier, we're going to try and sweep with dynamite. Uh, our basic goal, so this should be Dark Crystal Cavern. Um, or this should be Crystal Cavern, rather. And we're going to make it a Dark Crystal Cavern. I don't actually know how. It says in the notes I've got, by choice, you could make it a Crystal Cavern. I'm assuming that's a light or dark thing. Um, we'll have to see. But our goal is to make it dark or a crystal cavern and then convert it to dark crystal cavern using one of our moves. So let's see what we've got. If maybe I'm a little bit nervous that it's going to just light up. If that's the case, we'll reset and figure it out. You found the meteor. That hunk of space junk was my back porch for god knows how long. I guess I know how long, which is accurate either way. In fact, would you believe this is the very same spot we played before? Meteor hasn't moved an inch. Cross my heart and hope for him dies. <laughs> yeah. Looks a little different now, but I'm happy with what I've done with the place. Unlimited power isn't so bad, see? We could make neat things. I even based it off its real world equivalent. Not that that place exists anymore. Oops. Anyway, my real body is obviously long gone from here, but that's fine. Let's talk shop. I was thinking, this is a prism Pokemon. We've gotten up to all kinds of light shenanigans. What if, and hear me out, rainbows. What do you think? Awesome or awesome? I don't know if I'm feeling up for a rainbow fight, or we can stick with a boring crystal fight. Crystal cavern. Yeah, okay, I don't feel like it. We've gotten this far, let's just kick butt. So we do just get the option straight up. So this is Necrozma fight. And the fun part with Necrozma is it has three forms. Uh, so we are going to Night Days with Dynamite. That's going to make it into a Dark Crystal. That's bad. Light screen is not something I was counting on, <laughs> but we'll see how it works. Okay, they're sending out Lunala. This should be about the same. So basically, some Night Days and Moongeist Beam should just be able to get through most of this stuff. Ugh. They've got light screen, though. I may have overcalculated, but that's okay. We'll get through what we can. Light screen's down. Stealth rocks, dark aura, sucker punch. Sucker Punch isn't boosted by the field. Good to know. So, we are fighting every version of Necrozma and the Pokemon it fuses with. made a mistake. 
I forgot that that's what Magic Coat did. And we just die. Okay. So many mistakes. But yeah, everything on the opposing team is... at least part psychic and not resistant to dark. So basically, dark is all we need to sweep pretty much their entire team. Uh, just spam dark pulse. There's a flinch. Do we want to switch someone else in? So this is going to be the Ultra Dawn Necrozma. I think... Okay, it's apparently faster than us. Good to know. I think we lose here. Yep. Okay. I think if I hadn't made that oversight with Magic Coat, we would have been okay. There's a few things that didn't work exactly the way I wanted them to. Just a few things. So I need to be smarter with Dark Void. The magic code on turn one is important. Um, nice. Unfortunately, it used light screen first turn. That should mean we can kill it before Stealth Rocks go up this time, which is at least somewhat helpful. <laughs> okay, it's sending in Lunala. I'm gonna actually switch here to Toby. There goes the light screen. Lunala is pretty much the worst of it because Shadow Shield gets boosted in this field as well, uh, which I wasn't thinking about the first time. But now, yeah, I think we just leave Toby in. Um, this one, we're going to Dark Pulse. We should be able to maybe one shot, not quite. Not quite. Let's 
gonna send in another Necrozma. So this should be the Steel Psychic type. Um. I think we switch back to Dynamite here. And Night Days. That's terrifying. Is Moon Guy's Beam better here? Yes. We should have actually Moon Guy's Beamed twice. Although now we are actually good because it Swords Dance instead of attacking. And it doesn't have a priority move? Doesn't have a priority move. <laughs> Oops. But we should be good here. We shouldn't take a hit. And we missed. Uh, just to be clear here, that is a 95% accurate move. And we missed. Um, and it's faster than us. Okay. So I think we switched Toby in here. It's faster than Toby too? Holy crap. Okay, we're... I was gonna say we're in trouble, but then I remembered that we have a uh, Sucker Punch here. Dark Gem boosted Sucker Punch. There we go. So Necrozma is an interesting Pokemon, being that it has those effectively four different forms. Um, I don't think it's one we're going to use because it is kind of a weird... It feels like you really have to build around it. And we're at a point where I don't have a lot of opportunities for that. Um, the Ultra version might be worth trying to use, I guess. But that requires one of the variants to start with. And quite frankly, Evital and... Uh, that, that means merging it with either Evital or... Uh, or not Evital. Uh... Sogaleo or Lunala, and I believe we're potentially using some of those. Either way, uh, would I like to give a... So, yeah, we're not using... Uh, Necrozma is one of the few that we're not going to be training on for these late-game legendaries. It has the potential to be good, but, yeah. Looks like it went well. We're ready to go as well, and we're all behaving, correct? One could argue that behaving encompasses an infinite number of actions that one might undertake, but your meaning is understood and kindly respected, as long as our choices are understood and respected in turn. I suppose this is the part where we each go around and restate what we've learned in this ordeal very well. I understand that, whatever revelations I may have, it is far from my place to play missionary. To impose personal beliefs onto others, even for their perceived benefit, is indeed a lack of respect. I must trust that my daughter knows what she needs better than I do. Even if her thinking, uh, even if her thinking so, was a product of my mistakes. I understand rather well what you have said about escaping responsibility via deference. But you are overreaching if you assume that you are responsible for entirely, or you are responsible entirely for my feelings. Is it not possible 
that some of us simply and genuinely want to support others, and someone into Veritas. It would be a poor example of the Lord if I were to deny it. Great. Where do we stand as far as the whole parent thing? Can we stop pretending that doesn't exist? I acknowledge you as my father, but you are not my family. Do you understand? Plainly. Good. Perhaps someday that can change. I pray it will be so. In common is the wound that time does not heal. And yet, time is insufficient. Responsibility is called for. Well, I'd say that went rather well. The anomaly was dealt with, and those two are sp uh, are speaking, and nobody is dead. I realized I have magic mirror powers or something. Probably not, let's just assume it's just this world. But then, until somebody proves otherwise, maybe it doesn't hurt to believe. In fact, it feels kind of nice. Could be worse. That one. Pretty well. Uh, the calcs did not work as well as I was expecting. Um, I kind of spitballed a lot of this one because trying to calc in the level 150 changes plus um, field changes plus Prism Armor or Shadow Shield, and how those interact with it, was not feasible. Uh, the speed was an oversight. Speed on Dawn Necrozma. Um, but yeah, I feel like it worked pretty well. Um, Big Fella had a good first outing. Toby and Dynamite continue being amazing. Pete continues to be amazing. Didn't even need, uh, need him for this time through, but that's okay. And overall, feeling pretty good about where we're at. Um, it's one more down. We're going to be dealing with another scary fight coming up here, potentially. Um, but we've taken out two of the, I guess, blocks now. So we're going to be heading back to uh, wrap up one of the other quests. Which is going to be a three-parter dealing with all of the Ruby Sapphire uh, legendaries. So next time it will be Rayquaza, followed by Groudon and Kyogre. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, gal. Uh, last video ran a little long, so we're cutting it in two. Uh, we'll pick back right where we left off, heading into the anomaly fight. So if you're confused about what's going on, Check out the last video and we'll pick back right back up taking on Necrozma.